What's up, everybody? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, I got me a little fatty over here today. And while you guys are here, I want you to hit, make sure that you hit that motherfucking like, subscribe, share. Share your girl, okay? I'm tired of motherfuckers just keeping me a secret. I keep telling y'all that. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this motherfucking elemental read in this bitch. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my gods. Let's see what's going down in this elemental read in this bitch. This is going to be from Sunday to Wednesday. The overall energy is what's going down in the atmosphere. And uh, just what messages spirit has for you all together. At the very end of the video, I will be doing my elemental read with my cards. But I have made a special deck. And I will be using these cards too. Day. So, let's see what's going down in the atmosphere. Give me the overall energies of what they need to know about. What's understood that doesn't need to be explained. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we got the star up in this mother sucker. I'll take a puff to that. So the star card is here. This is the number 17 on my card, which is actually an eight. Some of you guys are gaining a lot of clarity and a lot of hope and serenity and seeing the motherfucking light in this bitch, okay? So the light could have been that some of you guys were in the darkness. You didn't really see things for what it was, but with that star, that is the brightest card in the deck okay besides the sun and they're both the stars so i feel like there is uh nothing holding you all back at this point in time you're definitely bringing on a lot of inspiration okay i do feel like this is you creating or you being able to physically create what you want but this is a lot of serenity now some of you guys could be coming out of a lot of chaotic energy all right now, y'all know, since we've been doing uh, Jupiter conjunct uh, Neptune and shit, there's been a lot of things happening underneath the surface, okay? Breakthroughs that we did not expect. But this is giving you all a lot of hope for the future. Definitely a lot of change. But like I said, this is really seeing the motherfucking light. Seeing things for what it is, Okay. So, we also have the sun here, which we got two stars up in this bitch, the magician, and also the two of wands. So, I'm picking up that, you know, some of you all want to come to this understanding or you're realizing the truth. You're seeing the light, seeing the truth of a situation. This could be a lot of uh, freedom, okay, that you might be receiving as well, too. You know, freedom could be relationships, it could be financial, it could be whatever is codependent or what was codependent to you. I feel like you're getting ready to charge the fuck up, baby. Like energizer motherfucking batteries in this bitch. You also have uh, somebody who's getting ready to achieve some sort of greatness. Like I said, some of you guys might feel like there's opposite effects that's popping off. But I feel like you're getting ready to command a lot of attention. And you definitely understand your personal motherfucking power in this bitch. And who's calling the shots, okay? So this could be you taking some risks with this two of wands. Or you being able to set out and do something completely different on that pioneer type of shit, okay? Now, I also feel with the magician here, there could be some manipulation or someone's uh, tricks and antics have come uh, out, okay? Their action, 
I feel like somebody was definitely jealous of your, your power, your talents. This could be your plans, okay? You all just making plans and being aware. Now, the magician also could indicate some sort of magic as well, too. Or some of you guys already know that this is you coming into your motherfucking power and creating motherfucking miracles in this bitch, okay? We got Peter motherfucking pop off. <laughs> now, I feel like there could be some disagreements, little petty ass shit that people got going on, some struggles within themselves. This is you meditating and resting and reflecting from the struggles, from the competition, from the disagreements, okay? And somebody could have been looking for a fight or there could have been some setbacks with somebody's game, okay? Or the way that they was playing the motherfucking game in this bitch. So I do feel like you're going to have to take care of the details with this five of wands. I feel some of you guys are seeing through, seeing through the light, seeing the light of having to be able to perform in front of others, be able to create plans and awareness for your talents, okay, for your power, your understanding, so you can charge the fuck up in this bitch, all right? But with this five of wands, I do feel like there's a lot of petty energy, a lot of hassles. Could have been some sort of disagreements or disagreements that were going down between you, your partner, friendships, okay? This is you all seeing where you need to elevate away from the motherfucking petty and the hassles that people bring into your motherfucking lives, okay? So I feel like, um, you know, Mr. or Mrs. Petty has came out to play, but you also have grown the fuck up. Two of Pentacles, strength, energy here. So you've taken a lot of patience and time. You've been very kind to the people that you love, you know, but there also could have been somebody who was trying to just have fun and be and, and have freedom, okay? But this is you seeing your endless, endless, endless possibilities uh, on the horizon. All right. But I also feel like you have a lot of persuasive energy and influence that's coming towards you. Could be dealing with a uh, Leo here. I'm definitely getting a lot of Leo. And I do see as we are in this Gemini moon moving into the Cancerian moon, there could be someone who's coming out with their emotions. Okay. Or someone who's trying to come pretty fast with this Knight of Wands, Three of Wands here. So this could be somebody who's very cocky. I feel like somebody could be trying to experiment some new things or traveling. It's very a, a very unsettling energy is what I'm picking up, whoever you guys could be dealing with. But I feel like with this Three of Wands, you're taking in a lot of foresight or you're seeing things in foresight. And I feel like, uh, you know, you're going to see or gain access to your view or the quest that you have in motion. All right. So we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Which could be, you know, somebody that you feel stuck to or somebody that you're ignoring because the devil can ignore some things and just go along with it. But I also feel like somebody could be obsessed with negativity or there's somebody who needs to do some sort of shadow work or their shadow side is ugly. Okay. I also feel like there could be, you know, sex, drugs and music that might be going down. It also could be you trying to control this energy, suppress, you know, yourself away from the worst of, the, of your beliefs. And I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with the dark and the unknown, a lot of addictive energy. This could be definitely your person is what I'm picking up. So let's see what's to come in love. I do see that Knight of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Two of Cups. Somebody feels like they need to come to a truth or there's this attraction there that's undeniable. But at the same time, somebody could have dogged you out. Okay, and you know, when people start to dog you out with that devil energy, you start to see their lower level vibrations where they mama and they daddy came from and shit like that. Okay, so y'all know I be telling y'all motherfuckers, it be coming from their genetics and from their motherfucking history, and y'all really have to pay attention to people, okay, with that devil, why they have these obsessive behaviors. Okay, but I do see, like I said, you're going to be seeing things for what it is. Okay, the light is the light, baby. The dark is the darkness. You can't see. Okay. Something flew out. Let's see. Ace of Wands. So I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to activate something here. This could be your confidence. This could be something that's uh, helping you stimulate. Okay, but I also feel like this is inspiring. Some of you guys could be dealing with uh, you know, willing to work some things out, or this could be sex, or someone wanting to conceive something like, like I told y'all in the video before, you know, people be using sex as a motherfucking weapon in this bitch, but I feel like your confidence is definitely um, implicating that you're ready for something new, 
like I said, some activation. You got the Ace of Swords here. So this could be justice through communication, through the truth. This also could be logic and reason for some of you guys that you're starting to see the fairness and balance of who was using their motherfucking logic and their reason around you, okay? But I feel like um, this is honesty and this is someone who has to use their mental force so they know what the fuck is right. So I feel like with this lover's energy, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but I feel like there's a new start, okay, coming up in the next few days as the week is getting ready to come in. You have the Queen of, Stor Queen of Swords here. Okay, I also feel like some of you guys are definitely starting to tap into, you know, seeing where you, where I feel like you're trying to avoid the lies and deception that people bring on to you. I feel like with this Queen of Swords, it's bringing a lot of experience, okay, even though you might feel like um, the other people don't have realistic expectations with the Queen of Swords, I feel like there's definitely somebody who's getting ready to size things up in this motherfucker, okay, so with that Queen of Swords, normally she has a... Um, a knife, but you know, since these are words for me as a Gemini, you know, it's more um, imaginative. So I feel with the Queen of Swords here, there's a lot of realistic or realism that's surrounding you. It might be that you have to, you know, size a motherfucker up and be like, that ain't for me, that's not for you, and I'm not fucking with you, okay? <laughs> but I feel like uh, with the Queen of Swords, it's definitely bringing out your sense of humor. But this is also understanding things with logic and reason with this Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, new motherfucking beginnings in this bitch. Um, I do see some of you guys could be dealing with, um, you know, a lot of discouragement in your happiness with family, family life. This also could be love, you know, expressing yourself or being to express the love that you want to, the delight that love comes with. This could be some sort of bonding time or something that you need to really um, see where the love is in harmony, okay? So, nine of wands here. I feel like somebody's very uh, guarded or there is an assumption that someone is making, but with the high priestess here, you feel, I feel like some of you guys are waiting patiently, but you also know with your intuition and in your heart and your dreams and your awareness and your, and your mystique and in your magic, I feel like a, a lot of you guys um, will be seeing the truth coming out, chariot energy, self-confidence, Okay, being able to control yourself. Some of you guys might be dealing with your car as well, too. But I feel with this chariot energy, this is mastering your motherfucking emotions in this bitch. So I feel like there could be um, some, some sort of victory that's coming up. This could be with protecting yourself, okay? Having the stamina to deal with the dusty ass motherfuckers. I feel like somebody kept you in assumption. Or there definitely was somebody who's... Um, who you had to see the truth, you were patiently waiting for them to fuck the fuck up, okay? <laughs> that's what I'm feeling here. With this King of Pentacles, some of you guys have major, major enterprises that's coming up, a lot of steady income, or finding opportunity for yourself. So let's see what this Elemental Read is talking about in this bitch. I am going to get a musical card and for each element, and then I'm going to see what the messages are. Next couple of days from Sunday all the way until Wednesday. For my fire signs, we got shit flying out. We got slowed down by Bobby Valentino. So somebody needs to slow down, okay? Or you might be trying to get to know somebody and your motherfucking ass is going too fast or things are going too fast for my fire signs. Now we also have money, Cardi B and Can We Talk, Tevin Campbell. And I feel somebody is definitely feeling themselves with who is the man who is the boss? Okay. By zero. Somebody might be having a little bit of drink and they cut fire signs. But I do feel like somebody wants to talk to you or there's going to be a definite financial change. So someone could be very desperate. Fire signs. We got somebody's daddy. All right. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody's hiding the truth. This could be somebody's daddy that they um, are definitely on some mental uh, illness tip type of shit. This could be somebody's mama too, okay? Keep in mind, Carol could be vice versa, but I do see with this somebody's daddy, somebody is definitely uh, in their thoughts about drinking or somebody is just feeling they self and not really trying to be bothered by no motherfucking body is what I'm seeing, fire signs. I also feel phone calls. Somebody might have blocked someone off here or there could be some changes. That's definitely happening with this tower, okay? Or somebody has an unexpected change or a phone call where someone's reaching out. I feel somebody's kind of in between or they're kind of like, should I stay or should I go? Somebody needs to eat some motherfucking healthy ass food too as well, fire sign. So keep that shit in mind, baby. 
Let's see what's popping to my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and motherfucking Aquarian. And this bitch, give it to me for my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. In this bitch. Talk to me, baby. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We got divide and rule by Sizzla. So somebody definitely has a wrong plan or their plans were definitely uh, not what they thought it was going to be, okay? But I also feel like somebody is conquering themselves. I feel like somebody knows how to motherfucking rule their universe and rule their mind no matter who the fuck you dealing with. That's what I'm seeing here. So for a lot of you guys, you really could be um, having to set these rules and plans, okay? Somebody's got a crush on you as well, little Kim and little C's, okay? This could be somebody spying on you as well or watching you from a foreign. But you got, you're the man. So I do feel like whatever decisions that you guys do make, your dreams are getting ready to come true. It could have been a lot of pain or somebody is getting ready to write a long ass letter with Tupac Payne, a four page letter with Aaliyah. So somebody is in their motherfucking feelings, but I do feel air signs, there's definitely your dreams are coming true. But somebody's true player like colors have come the fuck out. And I also feel like some of you guys are knowing when to get your motherfucking come up and when to lay low. Okay, you got come up and by Pimp C and motherfucking Switches and Herb by UGK. So y'all already know what to do, roll up, light up, okay? get connected with spirit let's see what's up with my cards for gemini libra aquarius prove it and x okay so this motherfucker got to prove it or somebody definitely has some explosive behavior or some major changes where they haven't made no changes that they need to make that's what i'm seeing here definitely some sort of mental health or somebody's got listen i'm seeing this all up and through the spread now i think i'm gonna have to do the karmic energy on mental health and whatnot and seeing through the through the truth. So stay fluid, air signs. Okay, this could be uh, some information about a side piece. Or some of you guys might be dealing with something you're going to have to laugh the fuck off. Or somebody was laughing with a side piece talking too much and you found out the truth. Or there's going to be something revealed about someone's laughter. Okay, so stay fluid in this motherfucker. Could be that somebody's acting like they're fucking busy. But they're trying. they're definitely trying to hide their tears with this crying. You got weed, sex, and drink at the bottom of the deck and time. So somebody's letting time either uh, pass or they waiting on something, okay? This also could be some of you guys taking a look at your astrology charts as well. Let's see what's up to my motherfucking water signs in this bitch. I got some of you guys are very heartless water signs. Cut motherfuckers off. You got Kanye West. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini. But I did see heartless in this mother. And we got Bob Battery, Battery Operator Boyfriend by Raheem Devon. Y'all remember that song? So somebody might be trying to get a Battery Operator Boyfriend or somebody has a crush on you, okay? Now, there might be some things that are changing because it says in the air tonight, Phil Collins. So I feel either you're putting one in the air or there's something in the air that could be mystified and being revealed up in this bitch. But you got Cardi B money. And nuck if you but crime mob. So I feel somebody is definitely, yeah, I'm going to have to do the karmatic energy because I feel like somebody um, wants to come. They are fighting, wanting to come at nighttime or wanting to come fix the situation because you got night nurse by Gregory. Okay. And also nuck if you buck by crime mob. So somebody's all in their motherfucking head, but I feel some situation is getting ready to die. And there's a karmatic situation where they deserve whatever they deserve whether good or bad, okay? We got weed, sex, drink, roll up, and time. So I feel somebody could be uh, needing to have some time to themselves, water signs. Could be that somebody's acting like things are not good or somebody's acting like they're not good. And I feel like rather, you know, somebody is trying to fight the situation or there could be a fight perhaps, but I do feel like there's a major hustle. Some of you guys might be paying attention to making the motherfucking money besides giving people your time and energy source is here baby and we also have shy as well so i do feel some of you water signs someone is acting shy or you could be needing to lay it lay something to rest or lay a burden to rest because i feel like it's you not them that you need to you know take yourself up out of the situation you got a lot of talented energy here you also have my black card so i do feel somebody is closing a cycle and starting to see their flourish see their talents flourish because they have closed the cycle and this is that karmatic energy. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with witchcraft as well, too. 
So here we go. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Give it to me. We got anytime, any place. Jenna Jackson. Oh shit. And somebody is definitely like in their feelings about leaving a situation alone or trying to continue forward with it. You got sex from now. Y'all got some definite sex things going on, or somebody got some hidden emotions for you. Yeah, we got cars flying out of the bit. The big payback, James Brown. So some of you guys might have um, a karmatic energy um, where somebody going to be acting like this is a human thing, but really um, they might be trying to like compromise the situation. But I feel like with this big payback, it could go either way, whether that's finances or money. But I feel like somebody is definitely in their head about uh, making some decisions or what they've done in this year all together. Somebody might definitely have an ice box where they heart used to be. <laughs> Earth signs, let's see what's up. But I feel a lot of you guys are making decisions. Yeah, I keep getting not good. Stay or go. So somebody's in contemplation. But you got roll up, weed, sex, and drink. So earth signs, y'all definitely dealing with somebody who's fucking with your mental. Or you could be feeling like you have to roll the fuck up because somebody is rolling. It's, you know, needing to fuck with their own mental or think about whatever it is that they're doing in their life and how fucked up they are. But I do see that there's a situation where you're going to have to think about lovers and friends. This could be with somebody's mama as well, too. But there's some truth that's getting ready to come out. Okay. All right, y'all. Make sure you check out my weekend readings before Sunday is over. And I also want you all to hit that motherfucking like button. I love you guys so much. I love giving you these real ass messages. And uh, I love that the fact that you guys continue to fuck with your girl. Okay. All right, guys. I will see you all in the next motherfucking video. Peace.